For this recording, I'm going to show you how to set up extension mobility um, in this scenario I'll be working on. Um, let's pretend there's a user already um, already working. His uh, name is John Doe, and he's using an extension um, 1234. Um, so there are a couple scenarios where this would be useful to have extension mobility. Like, um, oh, say you're in a call center where um, the agents move around um, to different seats and they use different different phones depending on what day it is. Um, instead of having to provision those phones every time, um, you could just do extension mobility and then they can actually log in using a, a PIN and a user ID. So I will get right to that. So I like to start in device, device settings and then device profile. So I'm going to go ahead and click add new. Now for this one, um, we use uh, 7965s. So I'm just gonna choose that, but it's really not that big of a deal because you can log into different kinds of devices in it. Like at the end of this video, I'm gonna log into an IP communicator. And I know you can log into 7945s as well. So I'm just gonna click that. And I'm gonna go with skinny. Okay, so this is the naming convention I like to use. First name, last name, and then user ID, UDP, description, John Doe. Then um, let's just pretend he's gonna need one line in two speed dial, or four speed dials. We can go through here and there's one that's BLF. We'll just go with two lines and four speed dials. Doesn't really matter too much. And then the rest you can leave at, uh, you can just leave it blank. We'll go ahead and click save. So now that has been, uh, that has been created. All this can stay just how it is. So his extension is 1234, and it already exists on his desk phone, but uh, he would like to be able to log in anywhere with it. So we'll see line one right here. There's add a new DN. And we'll click that. And then I will move 1234. And the screen's going to flash. And then I'm going to put it in the same partition that he already was in. So when you do this, it will automatically pull in um, all of that extension information except for the line on this phone. So this is the only this is the only thing that we will have to the place that we'll have to change things. And this will uh, this will make it so that on when he logs in, he it will say John Doe one two three four. And then his mask, you can make that whatever you want it to be. Let's just say 888-901-234. You don't have to worry about these. You can mess with those if you want. But we'll just be getting the job done. So I'll hit save. Apply it. Oh, but nothing to apply it to. Okay. So now the, the device, it's ready to go. What we have to do is tie in his user account so that those are linked together and he can use um, a pin and a user ID to log into it. So we'll go over to end user. We'll search for a person with a first name, John, and we'll see, Jado right here. Okay, so first thing on the checklist for users is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you know this pin. <clears throat> so for this, we'll use, use one, two, three, four, five, six. 
And this is what he will use to log in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing needs to change here. I'm just going to go ahead and click save so we don't lose any of our configuration. And we're going to go down here and we need to link his profile, his extension mobility profile <clears throat> to his user account. So you'll see it says extension mobility right here. And just a little trick, um, a lot of times when you're working with a call manager, there's these long pages and it's so easy to scroll back, back and forth and keep missing it. So if you just hit control F and start typing extension, see, it, it will just pop up and highlight and that makes it much easier to find. But anyway, so we'll go ahead and find this and we'll look for profile name that begins with John. And we see there it is already. So what I actually want to do is go ahead and check that one, add selected, you'll see it shows up as uh, controlled profiles. So we'll go ahead and click save again. Oh, I did something wrong, I'm going to go ahead and add it again. then we need to make sure that this is checked as well. So then we'll go ahead, click save. So now those are linked together. We should be able to log in. Um, there's the user ID, jdoe, and the pin we know is one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I have this IP communicator set up. So go ahead and press this button. Extension Mobility, J Doe, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then it's resetting, login successful. There it is, John Doe, one, two, three, four, ready to go. You can take calls, make calls. So that's it. Um, that's how you set up Extension Mobility. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments, and let me know also if there's anything else that you would uh, like to learn about. Thanks for watching.